In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pick media files from your devices gallery in Flutter. We're going to be building an application which will allow us to actually click on a button and just access our device's media gallery. And then from there, we'll have the ability to select the media that we want to display. As you can see, I'm going to select the following three. So it's the cow image, the image with a car, as well as a video. And then it's going to take this information and display it to us within our own application in a grid view. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to be doing is actually taking a look at the dependencies that we require to actually implement this functionality within our app. The only package we're going to be using is the gallery picker package. And this package will basically manage everything for us, which relates to giving us the ability to pick images, handling our permissions and everything like that. So I'll copy this dependency. And I'll come back to popspec.yaml and then I'll come to the dependency section and paste this here. As a side note, links to all of the resources that I mentioned within this video, as well as a link to the source code can be found in the description below. So feel free to take a look at it if you're confused at any point. I'll let Flutter Pub gets do its magic. And while this is happening, let's actually take a look at the setup we need to do on the Android side of things to get this plugin working. So for Android, all you have to do is firstly, you need to go to the Android folder. Inside of Android, I'm going to go to Android app source main and then android manifest.xml and here we're going to be adding some permission clauses the first one that we're going to be adding is going to be read external storage so just before the application tag below the manifest i'm going to add this permission and then after that since my actual application is going to have a android sdk version that's going to compile above 33 and most probably you'll have to do the same so copy these permissions as well and then add these here i'm going to now do command save and I'm going to close down the Android manifest.xml file. And with this now, we're going to proceed to the iOS side of things and see what we have to do for iOS. So for iOS, we're going to go to iOS runner. And then from there, we're going to open up the info.plist file. And here, what I'm going to be doing is coming to this section here, which basically says all of the permissions that we need to add to our info.plist file. I'll click on this clipboard button, copy these key value pairs. I'll come back and I'll add this at the top of my dictionary like so and do command save. And that's pretty much all of the setup we had to do for both Android and iOS. So we're now this done, let's go back to our lib folder. Let's come to main.dart and let's actually start running our application and see if it spins up on the simulator correctly. And then I'll resume the video. Welcome back everybody. So now that my application is actually running on the simulator, we can proceed with actually implementing the functionality. So to implement the functionality, I'm going to be adding everything to my homepage widget, which is an empty stateful widget for now for the build method, we are just returning a scaffold. So I'm going to be adding all of the logic here and on my main.dart file for the build function where I return my material app, I'm just setting the home property here to be this homepage. And that's pretty much all the setup for the app. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to define the body for my scaffold and I'm going to say this is going to be a call to a function called build UI. And then what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to say that for now, I'm going to define a function which will return a widget called build UI. And then within this, I'm just going to return a container. And that's pretty much it and do command save. Now that this is done, let's firstly implement the actual button that we can click upon to actually select files and then we'll take a look at how to display them. So to create the button, what I'm going to be doing is basically adding a floating action button property to my scaffold. And then I'm going to set this to a function that I'm going to define. And this is going to be a function which will return a widget. It's going to be called underscore select image from gallery button. And then I'll open it up. And within this, I'll say that I'm going to return a floating action button. And then for the on pressed for now, we'll just set that to be an empty function. Now that this is done, I'm going to quickly add a child to my floating action button. And this is going to be a icon with the icons dot image so that it actually displays this icon on the actual button. And then we can actually proceed to the logic of what happens when we click on this button. So when we click on this button, what I want to basically do is call the function on my gallery picker package. So let's actually import it first. So I'll type in gallery picker and then press enter. And this is going to basically import the gallery picker class. Then I'll do gallery picker dot pick media. And this basically requires us to pass it two things. One is the context object, which we're going to be passing it. And then after this, there's a parameter that you can select, which basically says, do I want to pick a single media or not? So if you just want to give the user the ability to select only one media item from the gallery, you might set this to true. Otherwise, this actually defaults to false. 
So I'm gonna set this to false because I want the user to have the ability to either select one or multiple different media files. Now that this is done, if we hover over pick media, you're going to see that it returns a future and that future basically resolves to a list of media files. So let's actually save this output into a variable. So to do that, I'll basically create a variable. I'm gonna say this variable is going to be of type list media files. It's going to be called media files and I'll basically set this to the gallery picker.pickmedia function call and I'll await this. And since I'm using an await statement now, I'll also mark my function as a sync. And you're going to see that we're gonna get an error. If I hover over the actual code, you're going to see that it tells me that there's a type mismatch error where a list of media file optional can't be given to a variable that's type list media file. So to fix this, what I'm going to be doing is basically using a null aware operator and I'm going to be adding two question marks and I'm gonna be saying if the result from this function is null, then we're just gonna set the actual media files to be an empty list and do command save. And that's pretty much all we had to do. So now that this is done, let's actually click on the button and see what happens. So if I restart my application, just to make sure that nothing's broken, and then I go to the actual floating action button, click on it, you can see that the gallery gets accessed and I'm asked for the permissions. I'm gonna say allow all, and this is basically going to display the gallery to me. And now I can select whatever media files I wanna select. What I'll do is that I'll select this actual button at the top, and I'm gonna say that I want this one, this one, and this one. So two are image files, and then one is a video file. So you can select both images and videos. And then I'm gonna press done. Once this happens, you're going to see that we're basically now back onto the actual page that we left from, but we're not actually showing the information that we had collected. So let's fix that. So to fix it, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to come to the top of my homepage state class, and I'm gonna create a list, and this is going to be a list of media file. And then I'm gonna say that this is going to be underscore selected files, and I'm gonna set this to a empty list for now, like so. Once this is done within our on press callback function, once we've selected our media files, after that is done, I'm gonna call set state, and within set state, I'll set the selected files equal to the media files that we've obtained from our gallery. Do command save, restart our application, make sure that nothing's broken. Let's go back to our app, click on this button, click on the gallery, and I'm gonna select all of the three files once again, and press done, and there we go, we're back. So now that we have a variable that's actually storing a reference to all of the media files that will be selected inside selected files, we are now going to be using this to display this information within a grid view. So let's do that. So within my build UI function, now what I'm going to be doing is basically replacing the call. Instead of using a container, we are going to be now returning a grid view. And I'm gonna use the grid view.builder function. So similar to a list view.builder, a grid view.builder allows us to programmatically build a grid view. It requires a grid delegate, so this is going to be of type sliver grid delegate with fixed, and then I'm gonna use cross axis count. I'm gonna set the cross axis count here to be two, and I'll explain to you what the actual cross axis count in is just a bit. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is define the item builder function. And for now, what I'll say that our item builder is going to take in two parameters, the context and the index, and then the function for now is not going to return anything and do command save. So now that this is done, we can actually come to our item builder. So within my item builder, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is basically getting access to the file that we are going to be displaying. So I'm going to create a variable of type media file. This is going to come from the same gallery picker package. I'm gonna say it's going to be called underscore file and this is going to be equal to the selected files and then the specific index, like so. Now before I do command save, I'm gonna to come to the top, I'm gonna to define the item count, and I'm gonna say this is going to be equal to the selected files.length and do command save. Once this is done, what I'm basically going to be doing is employing an if statement where I'm gonna say if our file dot is image, then the actual widget that I wanna return within my grid view is going to be an actual photo provider. And then here the media file is going to be set to file. And then I'm gonna have another else if clause, so else if, underscore file dot is video. Then what I'm going to be doing is that I'm gonna be copying this same line of code, but instead of returning a photo provider, we're going to be returning a video provider. And these are useful widgets that are automatically provided to us by the gallery picker that we can implement to actually show photos and videos within our actual footer app and do command save. And that's pretty much all we had to do. So you can see that the grid view lights up. And as I had alluded to before, since my cross axis count is two, on my actual grid, I show two children and then I move on to the next row. 
if I set this to, let's just say horizontal, you're going to say that now on the vertical axis, I have two, and then I can scroll between the actual list view like so. So I'm seeing images when I want to see images. And then if I scroll through my grid view, if I am actually viewing a video, I can click on it and this will start running the video. And that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. So I hope that you understood how to actually access files within the media gallery of your device and then display them within your Flutter application. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I release a new video. And stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.